Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always I am your hunting guide Jeff. Today I am back up in Grafton. And the reason why I'm up in Grafton today, I uh, shot a video yesterday with Dustin and his son Cash and uh, for some reason I'm having a hard time getting it to uh, switch over to 1080p. Got a new camera phone that shot it in 8k and technology hasn't caught up yet. So anyhow, let's get up here. Let's do some rock breaking. Let's see if we can find some cool trilobites. I hope you come with me. I hope you like it. I hope I get a subscribe. But anyhow, let's get to hunting. All right, so there's two rocks here on the ground where I was working yesterday. And you know what? I'm really glad I had to come back up here because uh, apparently we missed that trilobite sitting in the rock. And apparently we missed this trilobite sitting in the rock. Come on, focus in on it. See him right there? That's a trilobite. So I'm going to try to get these two out of the rock. I'm going to work on some of this rock pile that I worked on yesterday. I'm going to break this one down a little bit. And uh, once I get some out and find some cool stuff, I'll show you. And I also plan on exploring up here a little bit more. The uh, area we're in, it's Joliet Limestone. It's also uh, Kankakee Limestone. They're uh, both of the Silurian Age. And really the easiest way to tell is the uh, Kankakee has a clay layer in it that's super thin. I mean like less than paper. And uh, most of that clay is probably like, you know, million year old extinct fish poop. Because this at one time was all underwater. Anyhow, enough talk. Let's get digging. There it is, guys. That's the first one that I found. You can see it's got some mud on it. It's no big deal. I got it pretty well chipped out, enough that I can get this home and actually do some real cleaning on it. So this will go in the bag. Yay, my first trilobite of the day. Okay, this other one I found, I was gonna work on it out here, but uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's more trilobite pieces and parts. I'm gonna take this whole piece with me and I'm going to work on this in better conditions than the forest floor because that might actually be something impressive um, let's get to work on this big rock here I brought my chisel with me and once I get it popped open see if anything's inside I'm also gonna bust up some some of these other rocks and I will show you what I find all right you guys this is why it's super important to break open just about every rock so I broke this one open already I popped it open on this side and I saw the little imprint right there. The imprint led me to that trilobite right there. It looks like he's smooth on the back, which it happens, very crushed, but good specimen into the bag, coming home with me. Let's get to work on this big beast here. I bet you there's something in it. If there was stuff in these little pieces, this one's bound to have at least one in it i hope and sometimes you bust apart a big rock and you don't get nothing it happens so i'm gonna go exploring i'm gonna check out this area i'm gonna go down that way i'm thinking i might go that way i haven't decided yet i'm not gonna go that way because that's private property over on that hill or i may actually go up behind me here Wherever I go, it'll be a surprise for both of us. Okay, you guys, so I decided to come up the hill and I started working on this big flat rock here. And I knocked off a big piece as I pulled it out. Got ready to roll the piece down and I saw this right there. That's an imprint. So, this is the rock I pulled out and I flipped it over. And lo and behold, there is the trilobite. This is a big chunk of rock. I'm not taking the whole thing with me, so I'm gonna try to carefully pop him out. Really wish I had a, a stand so I could show you guys how this works. I'm, I'm gonna try to do something real quick. Hold on. Okay, I made a makeshift stand for the camera. I'm gonna show you how I'd go about this. So we know it's right here and its body probably goes about that far down. 
So I gotta remove this rock around it before I ever deal with that. In fact, I'll probably get this out at home. So I'm gonna try to split the rock through here using my chisel and my hammer, my big hammer. And we don't want the split, whatever happens, to come up this way. So I'm going to make fracture lines along it. So if it does go, it doesn't affect our friendly trailer bite. Okay. I'm going to take my big hammer and just bust. Ugh. And then, of course, check the rock. That's a big piece. It would be worth more breaking and checking, but as of right now, I'm just going to leave it because I've got one in my sights that I'm going after. Check over here on the face where I've busted. I don't see any trilobites over there. So let's hit here. And we check. There's something there. That's not a trilobite right at the edge of my thumb there. Always try to remember not to hit your fingers because that hurts a lot. I'm not seeing anything in there. Toss it over. Okay, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to stop the video now, so I'll show you once I get it closer. I'll even show you if I do a heartbreak on it. Okay, here we go. That is a pristine Calaman Celebre. That's nice. I'm gonna to try to get this off here real carefully. And then this will go into my bag. I'll take it home and uh, I will do more cleanup on it. But that thing is in pristine condition. Holy cow, look at that. You can see his eyes, the eye stalks. Oh, God, I love these things, they're so awesome. All right, this is as much as I'm gonna do in the field. Come on, focus, there we go. But you can see the tail. That's nice, that is nice. And I still have this entire rock to work through. So, I guess I should put this one into my bag and uh, get to work on this big rock, see if we can't find if he's got any brothers or sisters. Let's get to work. All right, you guys, I'm a little shaky right now. I just found a trilobite that is not a Calamon Calibre. Look at this. It's still there, okay? I'm gonna gently work on this. Oh my God. Okay, give me, uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna cease field work on him, or her, or it. Ah, uh, come on, focus, camera. This is too cool for people not to see. Oh, my land. This is... Yeah. This is awesome. This spot up here is amazing. Bust the rock, look at rock. Bust the rock, look at rock. That's how you find trilobites. Now, I just sent a message to Dustin. I told him to go sit on the toilet because he's about to poop himself. Oh my gosh, you guys, come on, focus, focus, there we are, it's a lot like the one Cash found, I really hope I can get that video going, oh, why won't you focus, that is amazing, that's a Dal Dalmantid, Dalmant I, I can't pronounce it, it's, it's Latin, I can barely pronounce English words, I found that, I found the other piece. I kind of want to take this entire big rock home, but I don't know if I can carry it. It's pretty well stuck in the ground, probably only weighs 500 pounds. Okay, I'm going to work on it a little more. I'm going to get some pieces chipped off. Sorry, there's an airplane flying over. It's pretty cool, though. Um, not as cool as these trilobites. Going to keep working. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is awesome. This is a great, great day. Okay, it's really hard to see, but that little hole right there, it's got something in it. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to take it with me. And then I had another piece over here. 
and I can't find oh here it is here it is I moved it up here now this do I think it's a trilobite no but it might be that smoothness I'm getting there I keep seeing those little freckle specks in all my trilobites so I'm going to take this whole piece home and uh, I'm going to work on it from there you can see I've done a number to the rock and the time is starting to get long so I'm going to start losing sunlight soon I'm going to beat on it a little bit more hopefully some other cool stuff pops out man it's just been Ooh, this is the giving rock and there's more like it up the hill so future dates I'm going to keep going until I run out of finding trilobites and that'll give me an idea of where they're at and what levels they're at because I know if I go too low I won't find them and I'm sure if I go too high I won't find them but anyhow I'm going to work on this for a while I'm hoping you guys like this video man all right i got that rock beat down to size still a little too big for me to carry home but uh, i did find this and let me find it real quick oh uh, there it is got another trilobite specimen right there i'm going to take this home and pop it out of the rock a little safer than out here in the field i've got quite the collection today most of them have come from this rock right here so i'm gonna head out you guys next time you see me we'll be at the house don't worry that was just a motorcycle backfiring um so i'm gonna head out probably gonna work on this a little more and show you if i find anything cool but if i don't find anything cool i'll see you at the house god i'm such a liar you guys okay so i didn't go to the truck but uh yeah glad i worked on that a little more There's two trailer bites right there so I got a nice size one there. It's going to need to be chipped off at home. Better tools, better working area. Okay, so that's going in the bag. I'm going to look at this piece, last piece I broke off today. As you can see, I've, uh, I'm have i still out here, even though I said I was going to my truck, and then next time you'd see me would be at home. But I guess you haven't seen me on camera, so I guess that kind of counts. But uh, anyhow... It is time for me to go. It's three o'clock. Shadows are long. I got a video up. I got to answer some comments. Thank you all for coming with me. I hope I can get a like, share, and subscribe from you guys. I'm getting close to that 700 mark, and my next step will be a thousand. That'll be awesome. But anywho, I'll see y'all at the house. Even the bald eagles are hunting for trilobites today. all right you guys i'm finishing this video up inside here are some of my not so great finds from this hunt uh these trilobites are the ones that are broken or smushed or just dirty this one i need to work with a little bit but as you can see it's missing its head there and then this one here it's it's not horrible but it's definitely weathered away pretty well now some of my better finds this one here, I got a little bit of material to remove right there. That trilobite's actually in pretty good shape. This one still has some matrix to come out. That's complete right there. But get once that's out of the matrix, it'll be good. This one actually sparkles quite a bit. Now, my two best finds. This one here I popped out. Super nice trilobite. Very nice indeed. And then of course, my favorite one, Dalmanite. This one is a Dalmanite. And this is the head of a Dalmanite. Uh, not nearly as pristine as the one that Cash found. That's Dustin's son in the first video. And then there's this little guy here. And as you can see, he's pretty smooth. The uh, the limestone that he is part of has begun to weather away. But I'll put him in the okay pile. These are my trilobites. So um, 
all of them except for this one I found on that hunt by myself this one was actually uh, during a exploration I did before we got out there well you guys that's the trial of bite hunt hope you enjoyed it Hamilton hope you enjoyed it we're actually sitting inside where it's warm yeah buddy it's cold outside isn't it but anyhow as always hope I can get a like share and subscribe Hamilton hopes you enjoyed the video. He hopes you uh, subscribe to his dad. And as always, we will see you guys the next time we're out hunting rocks. Have a good one. Bye.